We recently recorded a short video on three examples of layman's incorrect fiqh. We mentioned that the brother, he says that I can't pray with you guys. I need to go home and take a bath. Why, brother? He says, well, I went to the toilet and I didn't use water. We said, brother, you don't have to use water. It's best, no doubt, but not a must. Subhanallah, there were so many comments. You are lying to the people. You are misleading people. You are spreading false information. Allahu musta'an. Brothers and sisters, three lessons from those comments, insha'Allah, and then the mas'ala. Let's see. Number one, if you are ignorant, if you don't know, ask. The cure for ignorance is to ask and then you will learn, insha'Allah. Number two, if you are ignorant and you don't know, rather not comment. Don't make false accusations. That's a sign of arrogance and the arrogant one will not learn. Number three, many links below, insha'Allah. If you don't know, if you're ignorant, learn. Don't suffice yourself with these 10 second, 20 second, 30 second, 2 minute videos. Study the religion of Al-Islam properly, insha'Allah. Excellent. And now to the mas'ala. If you go to the toilet, whether you defecated or you urinated, well, number one, number two, whatever it might be, you can suffice yourself with toilet paper or some stones, etc., etc. As long as you cleanse yourself properly, this suffices, insha'Allah. Using water is best. Even if water is available, you don't have to use it. As long as you do a good job cleaning, insha'Allah. Who says so? The Hanafis, the Shafi'is, the Malikis, the Hanbalis, the Sahaba, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would suffice himself with using stones, etc. Remember, Islam is not just for myself and yourself in 2021. Islam is for the 1,000 years ago, the time of the Sahaba. Islam is for the one in the desert, the one who has water, the one who doesn't have water, etc., etc. As long as you cleanse yourself properly, even with other than water, even if water is available, it suffices, insha'Allah, walhamdulillah. And Imam Al-Qurtubi, Imam Ibn Qudama have recorded consensus with regards to this matter, that there's no debate, walhamdulillah. As for the comment that, wow, first time in my life I've heard that you can make wudu with toilet paper. Brother, what are you talking about? We're talking about cheese and you are talking about chalk, Allah musta'an. With regards to wudu and ghusl, you have to use water. You can't make wudu with Coca-Cola or orange juice or whatever. If you don't have water, then you make tayammum with clean earth.